Hello Guardians, 3D Hero here, and welcome to today's Destiny 2 build that I have to offer. Today's build is designed around two things I love, Titans and Void Explosions. And within these two combos when combined, you get a build designed around clearing up ads quickly, efficiently, and with a lot of reach built into it. Plus, lots and lots of Void Explosions that you can count. Today, I present my Doomfam Monarch build. This build is designed around PvE content and PvE content only, with a lot of spawning ads involved, so Gambit, Strikes, Raid, Forges, Public Events, etc. are your main focus and target area for the build. Within this set, you'll be making full use of the Void Titan military for landing and detonating the Void Explosions within your Vinicity, either by use of your melee, grenades or super, which all three you'll be making full use of. The main attraction for the build will be the synchronization of the resupply skill for the middle tree, which provides health, grenades, and mini energy upon the detonation of your void ability. That and the Doomfang Pauldrons gauntlets that offer super energy back upon melee hits and also extend your ability to use your shield more often, and also extend your super use every time you kill a target within your super form, makes this quite a deadly set to go out and try out. You'll then also be using the exotic Monarch Bow for adding a bit more flair to your hits and even causing more damage to proc once the exotic perk triggers. Hopefully, you can see where I'm going with this. The resupply skill will give you grenade energy, melee energy, and health back every time you land a void ability explosion on your target. And the more you net an explosion, the more energy you receive back, to which then you can repeat again. The Doomfangs now benefit from this as 1. You receive a super energy upon successful kill of a target through meleeing them. But 2. If your Void Energy Grenades for example detonates and takes out a large group of target at the same time, then you have the chance to regain your mini back again within just that one explosion, and thus get Super Energy back again as well. Rinse and repeat until your Super is now ready, and you'll now be able to run and take on more ads chucked at you with replenishing shield throws upon successful hits and extend the Super for however long you can last. I also forget to mention that my Doomfangs are buffed further with the Enhanced Momentum Transfer perk where causing damage with my grenades greatly reduce my mini cooldown, so all in all we have a very exciting set to mess around with. Now with the Monarch Bow, you can use the weapon to weaken any higher level targets and then gain close to them to finish them with your melee or grenades, and thus you gain back energy over and over again, as long as they're low level targets within the area, and they're low on health. It's also useful for taking on targets from longer distances when you can get near them, as activating the Asyndra perk on a quick hit over and over again can turn them into a walking hazard for any of their bodies that get near to them. If you have any super mods, power gun mods or grenade mods on you as well, they can help push the recovery rate for your special liabilities. I have two super mods and two power gun mods which tie up nicely for regaining super and ability energy and one spot left open for adding another mod of my choice. I can't decide on which one to go with, but those are the options I went with, but it gives you an idea of what you can be flexible around. At the same time, I've also went with the pump action mod for my help that gives extra super energy upon kills. I also recommend you look out for perks such as insulation, dynamo, or perpetration, which can also help with reducing class cooldowns further when tied in with the corresponding mods as this is how I'm able to get my minis and grenades to recover a lot faster. I must say that for cleaning up ads and any majors or bosses alike in the game, this set is very good at causing destruction onto anything it touches, and creating a nice and clear path for you and your buddies to play in. This is more of a set I like to run when things get too chaotic on the field and you just need the right amount of firepower to calm everything down. I could run this set in the forges for example, and keep back waves upon waves of enemies with just my million grenades on my own until my super arrives, or escalation protocol where it's usually a race against time against mobs for some users, but for me, it becomes a child play with how easy you can knock down an area with just your abilities alone, and at times just you and yourself alone. This build is great at clearing ads, great at CCing a boss, and overall great for ad control. I highly recommend you try this build out, and I also highly recommend that you mix it up every now and then, try to increase or improve on the set and see if you can find even more unique and barbaric ways to mess around with this build. So there you have it, a quick and tasty build for all you Void Titans who want an effective way of clearing ads within your path for explosive means. I do hope you enjoyed it. Now if you enjoy the content then do leave a like, a sub and also do press the bell button to stay always updated to when I upload as I would appreciate a lot if you do. But like always thanks for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.